it's no secret that spreadsheets have shaped the modern world. Almost everything you see has at some point been in a spreadsheet. The clothes on your back were once on a spreadsheet for store inventory. The parts on your car can be seen on a parts list spreadsheet. Heck, some people even have their schedules on a spreadsheet. Money makes the world go round, but spreadsheets tell them where to go. So it's not that all surprising that a spreadsheet application like Microsoft Excel has been in use for around 37 years. What is this? It's Microsoft Excel. Fast forward a few decades, the landscape is now changing. There's a worthy challenger in the ring, and in this video, we're going to be talking about whether you should make the switch to Google Sheets. For someone seeing the Excel interface for the first time, it might be a bit daunting. After all, Going through 37 years of progress and updates would mean that you'd be loaded with every single tool you need for stuff like data entry, data analysis, and data visualization. But let's see the new kit on the block. Google Sheets has been around for quite some time now, being created in 2006. Its stardom has increased exponentially in recent years with tons of development when it comes to collaboration and special functions that integrate with Google's incredibly large pool of data, as well as other applications in the G Suite. The UI of G Sheets is, I'd say, a bit more simple and, I dare say, a little more intuitive than Excel. But don't let the minimalism fool you, Google Sheets has got a lot under the hood. Outright, I'd like to address the elephant in the room that, admittedly, Google Sheets lacks a lot of the fancy schmancy functions, features, and tools that Excel boasts. Some of these include our beloved XLOOKUP, Power Query, and VBA, to name a few. This means that Google Sheets is unideal if you are looking to do some more complex functions or even data analysis. With that, it's needless to say that G Sheets isn't the best tool for more serious work with more serious datasets. Google Sheets can only accommodate 10 million cells as of writing. That might seem like a lot, but comparing it to Microsoft Excel that can have up to 17 plus billion cells, yeah, that's not much of a contest. Google Sheets also doesn't have the option that allows you to create a data table, which we all know goes a very long way in terms of automation. And for someone who's used to using Excel, you might find the selection of data visualization tools to be a bit lacking. Now that we've got those out of the way, let's get into why Google Sheets, despite its many setbacks, should still be on your radar as your spreadsheet app for 2022. Excel is great, but it is expensive. To enjoy the full suite and collaborative functionalities of Excel, you would need to shell out around $70 a year. Yeah, okay, maybe $70 isn't that bad, but anything is way more expensive than free. Google Sheets is a great entry point for anyone who needs a spreadsheet or wants to get into learning spreadsheets. And as we were not too subtly hinting to earlier, it's totally free. And all you need is a Google account. Because Google Sheets is hosted on your web browser, this ups its accessibility, allowing you to view and edit your spreadsheets on a wider array of devices without having to carry around a flash drive containing your file or worrying that the device you're using doesn't have the app installed. Earlier, we were talking about a lot of each app's user interface, but the function and form of each goes far deeper than that. A good word I think I can use to describe Google Sheets is it's convenient. As the world became more and more fast-paced, it called for something more basic, something more intuitive. Google Sheets really rose to fame when people started realizing how useful the collaborative aspect of the app was. Gone are the days when you needed to go through the office bureaucracy 
of sending an email for getting the attachment, resending the email, and waiting for your colleagues to get back to you with their changes. In Google Sheets, you and your team can work on a spreadsheet all at the same time. It's so effective that you can even talk to each other in the cells. The best part is, all changes made by anyone are autosaved. So in case somebody makes a mistake, you can simply revert back to before the error was committed. This ups the game in terms of collaboration. In a business landscape wherein remote work is now more feasible, and the few that are still in office are now ditching the cubicle, tools that help teams get work done simultaneously are game changers in my book. Who would have thought that you can look up images in your VLOOKUPs? Whenever you have an image in your Google Sheet, you have the option to insert the image in a cell. And whenever you reference another cell with the cell that has the picture, it returns the photo you entered. Now imagine you can create a dashboard that shows a picture of a product or a person depending on a drop-down list value. That takes creating interactive dashboards to a whole new level. Other really cool Google Sheet specific functions include the Google Finance function, Google Translate function, and the Query function, to name a few. The Google Finance function, which we talk about in our How to Convert Currency in Google Sheets video, automatically pulls historic or real-time financial data that you can use to track stocks, currencies, and cryptocurrencies. The Google Translate function works exactly like Google Translate on your browser. Select a word, enter the source language, and the target language. The query function is pretty cool. It acts kind of like an SQL query, which allows you to pivot and sum certain data columns in your spreadsheets, allowing you to get meaningful insights in an instant. Other neat features that G Sheets has are its automated processes. Any veteran Excel user working on large datasets would spam Control S out of fear in case it crashes. Google Sheets, on the other hand, being hosted on the cloud, auto saves for you as well as automatically backs up your data. Every time you edit your spreadsheet, G Sheets saves it on the cloud. You can also revert back to a previous state of your spreadsheet at any given time. This is really useful if in case your dog decides it also wants to be a spreadsheet master. Google Sheets doesn't stop its automation there though. What Google Sheets lacks in the ability to create data tables, it makes up in the ability to automatically update and refresh the pivot table. If we recall, if we updated our pivot table data, we need to go into data and refresh for our pivot tables to update. That's not the case in Google Sheets. The moment you add new data to your dataset, as long as your defined range for it accounts for additional data, it automatically gets added in the pivot. This might be a minor detail, but it's the things we hardly notice that make such a huge impact when it comes to saving time. Other small features that are present in Google Sheets that are my personal favorites are the drop-down lists Google Forms integration, and that you can chat inside your sheet. Whenever you create a drop-down list in G Sheets, which is also way easier by the way, it automatically gives you a search bar, which makes looking through the list way easier. In Excel, you'd have to fumble around a bunch of array formulas to make this happen. Google Forms allow you to create, well, forms. Forms that can do a lot of things, Mainly, they allow you to have a means to collect data from your subjects with ease. All of the data people enter in the G form can automatically populate your G sheet. So creating stuff like order trackers and other useful dashboards are super easy. Lastly, whenever there's another person logged in and working on the sheet, you can have a chat with them so you don't feel too alone. There's no denying that Google Sheets really shook the waters in the business community. The collaborative and simple nature of it really begs your attention. So, should you switch to Google Sheets? If you work in a team and the nature of your work doesn't require intensive data analysis 
nor it deals with grossly huge amounts of data, or if you are an individual that wants to save a buck to do some simpler computations and use simpler functions, then G Sheets might be the perfect fit for you. If your business deals with huge amounts of data and requires a bit more complex tasks like the use of Power Query, Scenario Manager, and whatnot, then maybe you're better off getting that Office 365 subscription. But for sure, an easy decision is getting a spreadsheet template from simplesheets.co. Simplesheets has over 100 pre-built and smart templates that are compatible with both Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. So make sure you click the link down below. As always, let us know if you found this video useful by leaving a like and make sure you're subscribed to Simple Sheets and that you have the notification bell click so you're updated for new uploads on Excel and Google Sheets tips and templates. I'll see you on the next one.